well, we have a very exciting run tonight, and I'm excited to tell you all about it. So, it's Signs of the Sojourner, a Caravaneer percent race between two friends, Pippian and Top Hat, and the King's Pride. They're GDQ hosts, they're talented speedrunners, they are just all around good people, and I couldn't be more pumped to host for them tonight. Pippian Pride, whenever you're ready, then I'm ready, and I am so pumped to see which one of you gets that banner to... What am I... Hmm. Let me rephrase this. Yep. I am so excited to see which one of you gets that blue ribbon tonight. There we go. I can talk. It's going to be a blast. So stick around, everyone. This is our final race and final, actually, uh, event of day one, and it's going to be a doozy. Vivian Pride, we're ready for you. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Pippi in a top hat. Um, you can't see the top hat, but just trust that's there. <laughs> and I am the King's Pride, and uh, I didn't know that there was a ribbon on the line. Uh, oh, my God. You're going down. Oh, God. We're getting, <laughs> we've gotten intense. Uh, so welcome to Signs of the Sojourner. This is a very interesting type of game and makes for a, a very quirky speedrun. Um, quirky, yes. Yeah, quirky. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll get into a lot of the quirks as we go, but um, keeping in mind as we begin that this is a deck building visual novel that is in its essence cooperative. We are cooperating with an AI for each of the matches of the card game we are playing. Um, and each of those matches is going to be representative of a conversation as we make choices and move throughout the world and explore the story. This is Caravaneer Percent, which is about as close as you can get to a max percent category for this game with any amount of consistency. It also has a, a lot of RNG and a lot of inconsistent things. Um, we're going to talk about it more as we go, but you'll note that this says Begin Race on our, our file select menu. Begin race. Um, that's because we are playing on a modded version of the game. Um, and we will talk more about what that mod does uh, as we get into the run. Um, uh, big shout outs to our community modder for uh, making this for us so that we don't uh, play a very unsafe category at a marathon. Yeah, shout outs to uh, both Neutronium and Rose as Romeo who uh, set up parts of this mod for us to uh, to make for the best possible show for y'all tonight. Um, that being said, uh, I think that's as much preamble as I can amble on about. Pride, how you <laughs> feeling? I'm ready when you are. I'm like, let's get going. Wonderful. All right. A three, a two, a one. Begin the race. And All here right. we go. Uh, we're going to be talking to Elias here. Uh, this is baby Elias. He can be mean sometimes, as children <laughs> are. Uh, yes. This beginning is entirely scripted. So, oh, don't tell uh, them that. Don't no, tell them no, no. We're, <laughs> we're so good at video games, guys. You have no clue. Uh, we're so, we're going to. We're not about to lose a conversation right off the bat. No, why would you ever? Oh, Pippi, you, you jinxed me. Oh, oh man, I got you? terrible RNG. I, I can't respond to this in any meaningful way. Oh, no. So if you haven't picked up on it, uh, these conversations, we are matching shapes. So we want to match the right hand shape on whatever the card before uh, our card was to the left hand shape on the card we are playing. That will make a match. And if we can match all the way across the board, we succeed in a segment of conversation and we get rid of one of those little white dots at the top of the screen. If we get rid of all of them, like I just did, um, then we have succeeded in the conversation. We did very good. So we were bickering like children and then our mom stepped in, not me and Elias's mom, me and Pride's mom. Because yes, me our and Pride mom. are the same person. In this. <laughs> we currently and usually. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but our mom stepped in and helped us with our first conversation. And uh, now we're moving out of the tutorial proper. So uh, now there is actual RNG. Um, yes, uh, everything now Elias can start being very mean to us. Yes, he can if he wants to. So um, he actually gave me good RNG immediately, which is uh, he gave me a very special card. If you saw, it was kind of gray and had some red art on it. That is called an Accommodate. 
And the way that this game works, which makes it kind of interesting as a deck builder, is that uh, we, at the end of every conversation, we are forced to put down a card from our deck that we will uh, send to the ether and pick up a card that our opponent has played. So I just picked up that Accommodate. Elias is the only character in the game who can give you an Accommodate, um, and he can give you an Accommodate in any conversation with him. He's our best friend, we'll be talking to him quite a lot, although he might not be our best friend by the end of this run. We um, will have to see. Uh, we got that, now we are talking to Nadine. We will also be seeing Nadine quite a bit, uh, and other than this conversation, uh, we're gonna tell Nadine to leave most of the yeah. time. Yeah, we don't, so Nadine is a little bit of a prickly personality, and uh, when you interact with her, a lot of times uh, she doesn't actually care internally if you are um, succeeding in the conversation, which means you uh, talk to like a normal human being, or if you are failing and you are rude and awkward. She doesn't care. So being awkward is faster. And thus, in pretty much every conversation with her, we are going to be awkward. As above, uh, so below. Fastest way to get people to stop talking to you, be awkward. Yup. <laughs> so uh, I just left our first uh, yes. location uh, and got our second. How's your RNG looking, Pride? I got the best RNG. Oh, I got second best. So right. there's three different characters that can appear here. Um, Isabella, who Pride got. Tomas, who I got, and Marquez. Marquez is very bad, and we do not want Marquez. We are very glad not to see Marquez in this run right now. Yes, we do not like Marquez. But um, Marquez has longer conversation segments, and her deck contains more green. Um, and our deck does not contain very much green. Oh, Tomas gave me um, good RNG and then was a little bit rude, but that's okay. That's okay, uh, Tomas. I got very good RNG from Isabella. Did not get the... Uh special card that I wanted, but got a special card that's also very good with two symbols on it. Ooh. Um, so now I'm talking to Nadine, and uh, what do we say to Nadine, Pride? We say, Nadine, leave. No, get out of here. Be gone. We accommodate her, um, and she doesn't like accommodations, so <laughs> uh, she leaves. Oh, I just said triangle, and she was like, triangle, <laughs> and then she left. I was She great. was like, Triangle circle, and I was like, triangle circle, and she was like, uh, triangle circle, Ooh. and then left. I got stuck with Klaus. Hey, I got good RNG. I got Alexis. So those are the two uh, major uh, sort of character RNG checks in the run. Uh, but before either of us talk to Klaus or Alexis, I'm assuming you're routing this in the same order yes. I do, um, we're going to talk to Ramir. Now we have to talk to Ramir because as we move through, we do have to talk to Nadine and Ramir because they are going to tell us uh, where we're going next. They're going to expand our map. Um, however, uh, so we don't actually have to succeed in these conversations to get that. Um, so I failed with Ramir as fast as I could. And that's also good because Ramir is kind of annoying. And if you succeed in that conversation somehow, uh, he is going to think that we are friends, and that is unforgivable. We do not um, want Ramir to think we are friends. If he thinks that we're friends, he's going to ask us to help him move. I'm not <laughs> even kidding. You and ever have somebody who's like, hey, we're friends, right? That's Ramir. Yeah, uh, so, um, oh, Alexis, got right. bad, bad yeah. RNG from Klaus, but that's okay. Um, but, uh, so if you... Uh, succeed in uh, we're gonna do that because it's safe um, if you succeed in that conversation with Ramir it immediately prompts another one when you try to leave the area um, and that second conversation is um, the one where he asks you to go somewhere and th that entire conversation is unnecessary in this route so we ignore it entirely um yep you also may be seeing that sometimes i'll be playing uh cards that don't actually match and will continue with the conversation anyway you'll say hey pride i thought that you said uh you need to match symbols to get through conversations to which i say why don't you trust me man but, uh, <laughs> we whenever we put a certain number of symbols in a row we get what's called an accord uh accords are usually bad sometimes they will save us so they are very safe in terms of tech. Um, however, 
Uh, ooh, we love that. Uh, Matilde just gave us a card with text. I actually lucked into another one of those earlier, but I'll be showing you. That one just reshuffles our hand um, with other cards in our deck, and we very much would like that. Um, but accords are very safe. They uh, function as a backstop. So if we cause a mismatch, instead of setting us back to the beginning of the conversation, it'll set us only back to where the last accord was. Um, and it will not penalize us. If we get too many penalties, we fail the conversation. Um, however, accords are also kind of slow at times because they can cause extra animations. Essentially, if you have a accord when you finish a conversation segment, that is not the final segment of the conversation as a whole. It's very specific. Um, it will cause an extra animation that will tell you, uh, hey, we're saving this accord for the next segment of conversation. And uh, that that is slow. We don't like that. So we can save a decent amount of time in early game by doing what's called expiring accords, which is uh, just not playing shapes in a row at the end of a uh, segment. Um, now we're in a section where we have uh, new colors. Um, so each of the colors in this game uh, represents sort of forms of rhetoric. Uh, so, so uh, green triangles are supposed to be being logical and diplomatic. Orange circles are being uh, empathetic and observant. And uh, I'm sure you remember the other two. Y yes, um, blue diamonds that I just uh, saw from Salem here. Um, are being creative and industrious, and um, the purple squares are being uh, forceful and direct. There are two more that we will see along the way, but um, we won't see them for a while, and they're kind of special. Um, also, this card that's way over on the right-hand side of my deck, that's called a Fatigue. And Fatigue, if you're familiar with a deck builder, is like a curse card. We pick them up passively as we travel through the world, and they mismatch with literally every card. Which means that we can use them to consistently fail conversations, like I just did there. I didn't want Nadine to be able to respond to anything, so I played a Fatigue. Um, I also I, did that. Uh, I have been getting terrible deck RNG. Oh, uh, no. I got um, double triangle shuffle. Ooh. Um, yeah. So we're going to talk about, uh, I'm going to start setting up for a manip that we're going to use. This game works in cycles that each month we have to do a circuit of the map and the circuit is going to get longer after this month. Um, but what we need is to get past a customs agent next month. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to set up a, a manipulation uh, of what Nadine's AI is going to do another time. And the first thing I need to do is fail a conversation with this character that the game really doesn't want you to talk to. You can actually, like, it is impossible to succeed in conversation with the stranger there. Um, and we just don't care what he has to say as long as he says something with those purple squares and uh, blue diamonds. As long as he gives us a card that has those on it, um, then we can use that to uh, manipulate Nadine at the uh, beginning of next month. Um, also, we're forced to take this conversation with Elias. If we don't take it, um, it will give us an extra animation of Elias going, Hey! Hey! Hi! You came home! Neat! Yes, um, Elias is very clingy at this stage in the game. He, uh, he will not leave us alone. Um, so we haven't talked a lot about what our goal is. Uh, I got five items. Can chat count to five? Um, <laughs> so we want to get 23 items by the end of the run, which will save the local economy of our little town and allow us to have a successful oh, store. Yes. Um, so I picked up five in month one. That means uh, in month two through five, I'm going to need to pick up 18 more. Um, and also, we have to stay with the caravan the entire time. That's what makes this caravaneer percent. Also, we're about to manipulate Nadine. So Nadine has this really cool card in her deck that we would like. Uh, it's not that one, but that one is also cool. Um, but she is smart enough to know that we shouldn't have a card that matches with that. But we went out of our way to get cards that match with that so we can force it out of her hand. So as long as she had it in her hand, I can force her to play it. Um, and... 
I then used to accommodate to make it so I also didn't get a penalty for doing that. Um, so now that she's played it, I can pick up that card and I can use it to get into Old Moray, hopefully, which uh, is the that fun customs agent I mentioned. Um, their goal is a fun. custom agent. Fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, she only speaks with blue and purple, and as you can see, our deck is not very blue or purple at the moment. Um, we're gonna try and make it as blue and purple as possible before we get to her, in the hopes that she will be kind to us. Now, it is possible for RNG to just say no, which is why we have this lovely mod. Pride, would you like to talk about our lovely mod? Absolutely. So our lovely little, little mod here allows us to, uh, if we see that we're going to fail with Gull or already have failed, then we can just say, no, that didn't happen. We can reverse time and we can reshuffle our RNG. So normally in the game, unmodded, we, if you were to quit out during any of these conversations and restart, um, it would keep your initial RNG shuffle the same. Our decks would be in the same order. The RNG is already set before we actually like, you know, talk to the can, NPC, can uh, reset out of the conversation. However, um, we can with our lovely mod. By the way, I'm going to this location just because I'm following the caravan. I actually want to talk to no one here because if I talk to Klaus, I'll get robbed. Um, We're up to Clifton, let's go. Yep, fastest location in the game. Um, but I, we, uh, because of this mod, we can hit a button and it'll reshuffle our RNG or we can choose to keep our RNG and play it differently, which is what we would do as a safety strat um, in unmodded versions. Um, but, uh, ooh, my mouse just glitched out. That's fine. Oh, ah, fun. Uh, <laughs> fun. Keep going. Yeah. Keep doing it. Keep doing <laughs> it. Lower down. <laughs> um, but, uh, as you can see, Matilde plays these cards that have a shuffle function. The shuffle function is great for safety because we would like to, uh, be able to get rid of the cards in our hand if they're not going to work. Um, we also have these cards with text that they're called a clarify that has the three little cards picture on it that lets us play cards out of order and also i have uh these cards with a little eye on it that's called observe and that allows me to see what's in my opponent's hand though it is a little bit slow it causes an extra animation so now uh that i'm past matilde though um ooh, fun that's these little off the trail events are complete RNG and uh, they can help clean up your deck a little bit. I got um, a double circle uh, reconsider on the last card that Matilde oh. played. We'll see if the game gives it to me. Yes, we are good. Okay. <laughs> that card's extremely important for talking yes. to Gull. Yes, it is. Um, but uh, we're now gonna pretty much take every conversation we can even ones that aren't technically necessary, between now and Gull, because we want our deck to be as blue as possible. Now, blue is my favorite color, but this is going a little bit extreme. It's it's a little much. Yes. Um, and that's also why we've clung on for dear life to every blue card we've gotten before this. Um, even the, the ones that are not great because like they're not useful in other parts of the game. Also, by the way, this is Totsuto. He's a pickle man. He's a pickle man. He, he makes pickle pickles. Man. He makes pickles. We love Totsuto. Uh, who is your starting character in uh, Alters? I got Totsuto. So oh. a little less good RNG, but workable. Totsuto's not bad RNG. Uh, the only one that's bad RNG as a starter in Althurst is Aurora because she just has longer conversations. And also, hot take, she's a jerk. <laughs> she does um, kind of suck. Like, personality-wise, all these characters have lovely personality that we're completely skipping over. Mm -hmm. um, personality-wise, Aurora is the worst. And I mean, um, Gull. Goal is also not great. Uh, we don't talk to Rohit there because uh, Rohit was the, the little kid with the pizza shirt. Um, it's he's a caravan member. Caravan lad. Yeah, he's a member of the caravan, and um, he talks like people from Bartow, and we don't want to talk like people from Bartow, so we're not gonna talk to him. 
Bartow uh, is uh, stinky, even though Bartow we come from our, there. Yeah, Bartow is our starting <laughs> town, by the way. Uh, ooh, we're going to play this risky because it has a chance of making my deck slightly better. And... Uh, there we are. Okay, got through uh, the sailing conversation. Very nice, very nice. Um, so this is the scariest part of the run, is trying to make our deck uh, nice and pretty and blue for Gull, but also having it be functional enough to get through these conversations that are still using orange cards. Um, because we can't we can't just ignore them entirely. <laughs> yep. uh, routing in this game is a very much a balancing act, because yes. you do still need to be getting items throughout this part of the game. Yes. Uh, if you fall behind in your item route, for instance, Pippi got five items, I got four. Uh, so I need to make up one of those items later. Uh, yes. So we're going to try to find a way to do that. Um, there are ways that you can take extra items along the way. We're going to try with Nadine to make my deck a little bit better. Um, ooh, Nadine, you, you gave me some... Oh, wow. Uh, Good, 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 good. So I'm trying to uh, sort of Hail Mary force her to, oh, that's not great. Um, I was you, trapped. You, you good there, buddy? <laughs> not really. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually retry that conversation and try to play it a little bit differently because that's a huh. thing that we can do. Um, I am, however, locked into doing this conversation. I can't decide that I don't want to. Um, but I can change how I do it. Um, so I can... Ugh, that's also not good, but it... Oh, that was still not good. Well, she just decided that she wanted to give me a junk card, and that's all right. Rip. Um, rip me. Um, we're gonna put it there. That's fine. Um, and now I am entering into the big scary fight. Uh, we call this a fight, even though it's a conversation and it's cooperative, just like everything else in the game. Um, but it's scary, and fights are scary, so that's how it works. <laughs> um, so this is Gull. That's Gull. She we sucks. Gull. All my homies don't like Gull. All my homies hate Gull. So we're going to try to do as much safety as possible. So as, as you can see, I, I'm completely ignoring trying to not have an accord at the end of my, my conversation. I also have this single use accord that I picked up. Um, and I'm going to try to uh, use that to get, get rid of everything in my hand, shuffle everything in my hand away. Um, without taking as many penalties, because at this point, penalties kind of become, like, a form of currency. Um, and it looks like we're good. So no matter what card she plays last, it's gonna break the accord, but it's still gonna save the chain. So even though that does not look like it matches, and, uh, eyebrow, um, I am through the gull conversation. Uh, wow. I am about to start the gull conversation because Nadine was refusing to give me a non-junk <laughs> card. We'll see how this goes. All right, everyone, hold your breath for, for pride. <laughs> if you don't be... get the, this conversation, uh, you get kicked out of Old Marae and you are not technically able to finish the requirements of the run. However, of course, we can retry it. Um, yes, it is very possible as long as Gull is nice. Yes. Gull being nice, not very possible. So <laughs> we will see just what happens. Starting with double square, not great already. Uh, that was also my start. Awesome. Uh, uh, so I got three scary. fatigues to start with. Oh. So I'm going to shuffle my hand. Also Spicy. a not great start. <laughs> Spicy. Thank you, Gull. Gull also uh, will steal an item from us. She says she's confiscating it because it was suspicious, but um, the text kind of implies that she just wanted our matcha, and th thus she took our matcha, which is really rude. I it's wanted suspicious right green powder. Yeah, yeah. What are you, what are you gonna do? Um, she will confiscate any item that is a loose powder, an unmarked liquid. Ooh, interesting. Um, Talia, Talia, my lady. Um, an unmarked liquid or um, a strange electronic. Um, and we do have a loose powder on us. 
uh, which is Masha, always at this point in the game, regardless of RNG. Mm -hmm. Well, so... you guys get to see uh, the mod in action, because oh, no. uh, Gull just decided I was not getting through that. Um, so we will do our best here. Uh, another not ideal start, but we can work this. Okay. Through the first. All right. I should be able to get a shuffle here, hopefully. I'm basically top decking at this point. Uh, <laughs> it always gets to that point. It always okay, we gets got a shuffle. Scary. Okay. This is a much better hand, even though we have two fatigues. Okay. Double trying or double uh, diamond is fantastic. We love it when she plays diamonds. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. That is two successes, one failure. What am I, if I, if I don't draw fatigue here, I should be fine. Oh, that's, I mean, not great. All right, this should be fine. Please, please, please play a dime. Thank the Lord, we're good. Okay. <laughs> We're both through the conversation. Both, Everyone can the breathe this part. sigh of relief. I oh, also okay. just had to reshuffle on a later conversation. This is the section we call the gauntlet because um, it's a gauntlet. If we fail any of these conversations and cannot get through, we do not get the ability to move on to the next location. Um, and if we don't have the ability to move on to the next location, we cannot follow the caravan and we cannot complete the route. Hence why we we have the ability. So the, the mod only allows us to reshuffle on these conversations. So past where I have just gone and I have just talked to Lars there and, uh, you know, done, done that, got some flowers as an item. Um, past now, I can no longer reshuffle conversations. I just have to deal with if my RNG is bad. Yep. Uh, and unfortunately, RNG being bad at this point in the run uh, means that you got to take time loss later. Uh, yeah. Just kind of how it is. But um, I so a fun piece of tech that you will see going forward. Uh, I don't know if you do this as much, Pippi, but uh, whenever I know that I need a reshuffle coming up, uh, I will always try to get an accord oh, so definitely. that I Yes, yeah, so that I, we play the reshuffle onto the accord so that we only get one miss instead of two. Because if we play it on not an accord, usually it's in this se section of the game, uh, and we will mismatch on the play, and then the uh, conversation partner, almost said opponent, uh, <laughs> our conversation partner will uh, mismatch on their play as well. So, so we try to avoid that as much as possible. Um, I also am doing something a bit silly right now. I'm taking an extra conversation uh, that I wouldn't normally take. Oh, I did, I did not succeed in it. But in actuality, I didn't really care if I succeeded. It would be cool if I did because I'd get an extra item. But um, it, he is going to give me a path that's a little bit faster to navigate on the map. So it mitigates the time loss. And also he's going to offer me a... Uh, a card um, that is in the colors I'm going to need coming up. So a lot of this run is improv with the degree of RNG that we have to deal with. By the way, best character in the game. Look at my screen, please. Thunder! He's a good boy. He's a good, He's a good boy, boy, Thunder. He's a good boy. Woof, woof, woof. Uh, some of you will be familiar with our previous race of this game during uh, Multithon. Uh, and Pippi, would you like to share the wonderful news that has come out of that for all of our returning fans? At Multithon, hold on. Uh, I picked up six items. I'm now at 11. That's a decent number. Um, so at Multithon, we raced this and uh, we raised over the course of the event over $3,000. We actually raised $5,000 for a charity that, um, that uh, trains service dogs for uh, children with autism. And um, we, uh, if you raise over $3,000 uh, for Blue Path service dogs, uh, you get to name a dog. And we let people uh, vote as to what they wanted to name the dog. And the winning name was Thunder, named after the dog in Signs the Sojourner. And uh, the most recent update I heard is Thunder has been in born and is enrolled in their 
uh, their service dog, like, academy right now. So let's hear it for Thunder, everyone. Um, Thunder's done oh, some things. Lil Basilio. <laughs> oh, Lil Basilio's not great RNG. I got Big so, Basilio. <laughs> Big Basilio's great because even if you don't, like, talk to him, he will just tell you how to get home. Uh, unfortunately, Lil Basilio, you have to succeed in one conversation stage for him to tell you the train going from Anka to Bukumboro. Uh, so now, every time that I am finishing a circuit, I lose time because my truck breaks down. Yep, and your your deck is worse because it's full of fatigue, which is sometimes a bad thing and sometimes a good thing. I took another extra safety conversation there uh, at the beginning of this circuit um, because I uh, wanted to, once again, fix up my deck. Because, uh, as I said, there's a lot of improv in this run and a lot of thinking ahead as to what you're going to need in the next conversation. Um, yeah, Tomas? That was really <laughs> awkward. Oh, I didn't like funny. it when you did that. Um, what? Tomas! <laughs> this is all on you, man. <laughs> um, uh, so I have just gotten six items, bringing me to a grand total of ten. Uh, and I should mention that I will be donating one dollar for every item that we pick up in this game. Um, I, I would like to, to match that and also donate uh, $1 for every item conversation we take and then miss. <laughs> uh, so you got a couple for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a couple for me too. Uh... <laughs> wow, y'all are... Y'all are high rollers. This is, this is impressive. We're gonna have lots of awesome donations as a result of this run. And Absolutely. That's, that's pretty keen. Speaking of awesome donations... Do we have um, some awesome donations? We'd love I, to hear some. Yeah, I would like to read an awesome donation from 2D Blur, who swapped me off as host. And uh, they say, let's go Nihongo. And that is the Japanese word for the Japanese language, which means that Japanese and Spanish are now tied for our language bid war for Say No More Tomorrow, with Irish Gaelic at $5 and English at 0 Apparently Nobody people, wants <laughs> people are just not feeling it uh, for for English. So we've got a neck and neck race between Spanish and Japanese, and I think that's pretty cool. And that puts us at just about two thirds of the way towards our first bonus game tomorrow, unlocking that. And that'll be Super Mario 64, run by Leanne Hef, the 70 star category. So GG's everyone, we are doing fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that run. Uh, uh, and also, um, <laughs> Irish Gaelic Supremacy. Uh, uh, I also am on Team Irish Gaelic. Um, I, the, last time I saw Happy Bear uh, run Say No More, um, Irish Gaelic won, and I wound up having to um, say things in Irish Gaelic toad voice. Um, so I, I just need validation that that wasn't <laughs> a <lot. laughs> It was a mistake. Honestly... Pippi, I I would like I would feature you if it wins tomorrow. Like I'd be down to feature you in a special guest star <laughs> spot. Just like come on for a moment, do the Irish Gaelic toad voice and then just disappear into the ether. Yeah, yep. I, I would be down for that. So y'all, if you want to see that, got a little work to do. Irish Gaelic got a win for that. It is absolutely worth it, and that that's the language that I like to run in, um, just because it's so fun and silly to. Mm -hmm. Hear this person yelling, uh, whatever, however you pronounce it, um, the, the <laughs> shields. I don't even know. And I've been playing I the game for a year. Um, I can only say things in Irish Gaelic toad. Um, uh, so fun fact about the, the location where I am now. Uh, you have options to talk to multiple people and they will each give you an item. But if you talk to anyone other than Totsuto the Pickle Man, uh, they're going to tell you about the longest road on the map. And, and we do not want that. When it you learn about a road on the map, it's going to physically draw that road on the map. And um, that takes time when it's a very long road and it's so slow and we don't like to do that. So we just take a different conversation for an item later, later um, which is, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, again, this game is uh, improv and trying to pick up early items so that you can skip later conversations. Um, 
Uh, and you will also notice that uh, because I got Alexis on the first turn of the game, uh, whereas Pippi did not, I talked to Alexis there, and uh, I had the option of failing that conversation and still yeah. getting an item. Because Alexis is like, hey, you want my wares, right? And you go, no. And they go, why did I even ask? Of course you do. Yup. Uh, Alexis, not a great listener. Not a great listener. Um, but yes, because I do not already have a rapport with them from meeting them at the beginning of the game, um, I do not uh, get the luxury of failing that conversation. I had to succeed in the conversation if I wanted an item, and I did, so I, I succeeded in that. Luckily, Alexis's conversations are uh, usually pretty short. Um, Alexis also uh, has a card that they like to use called Chatter. Um, chatter is once again a card with text that just allows uh, whoever played the Chatter card to take an extra turn and talk to themselves. You know, it's useful. Neat and normal, yeah. <laughs> a normal thing to do. Yeah. Um, the character who uses it most is Dayan. Um, I think it's pronounced Dion, but Dayan Dayan is, Dayan? More, Dayan is more fun to say. Um, and uh, I believe the implication is that he's just kind of drunkenly rambling. I think that is the implication. He's because he's a fisherman, so he yeah, just yeah. like hangs out and is like, ah, I'll tell you what about that dang old, ding dang old fish. Yep. Yep. And that uh, ding, ding, ding dang old vampire fish. I'm there are robots. Him. Yeah. <laughs> there are robots in this game. We will not be talking to that robot. <laughs> um, so I'm back at Old Marais, and I'm going to be forced into a conversation with Gull again. But this time, uh, when the caravan rolls through, she's not actually looking at me. She's looking at Ramir. And uh, Ramir actually has some stolen goods. So if I succeed in this conversation, we bail Ramir out of a tough bind where he almost gets arrested. Oh, no. Oh, no. A mismatch. Oh no! Are you failing on purpose? Yes. <laughs> Why? I love Ramir. Um, He's my friend. He told me so at the beginning and then asked me to help him move. Ooh. <laughs> he didn't in this run, thankfully, but... <laughs> Great RNG. Uh, Thunder is actually the fastest way to get items in the game if you can talk to him at certain points. Uh, because, uh, as you might notice, Thunder will match with whatever you say. You just stand there and say nothing and Thunder goes pork, pork, pork. Yes, and the then flavor you say text. things. <laughs> you say things, yeah. and Thunder just goes bork, 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 and because he is a dog and he doesn't speak English. The flavor um, text on his little paw print symbol card is uh, "A dog's love matches with all symbols," which is. is just adorable. It's very cute. Um, but if we can talk to Thunder in either Old Moray or Anka, um, we will actually get to pick up an item from that conversation because uh thunder is a good boy and he's gonna bring us an item um ooh, very nice um and uh those items are obviously the fastest in the game because you can just play three random cards it doesn't matter what they are in any order and there it go um I'm going to, once again, try to talk to Big Basilio and see if I can get an item from him. I don't remember what Big Basilio gives you, but I have a uh, chance I to. I believe at this point in the game he gives you scrap. Neat! I'm sure this will go wonderfully, and I didn't get horrible RNG for the start. Once again, um, this is kind of a safety thing as well, that uh, because I have the opportunity... I failed that conversation immediately. Because I have the opportunity to talk to him, um, I can fix up my deck uh, a little bit. Um, he told me about a location on the map that doesn't lose a ton of time. Uh, and once again, I just want my deck to be as, as forward thinking as possible. Um, and then because I got big Basilio, I get to take the train home! <laughs> I have to drive home. It is, um, pretty much like GDQ, now that I think about <laughs> it. <laughs> Excuse you, I took a plane. <laughs> That's fair, no, yeah. <laughs> ah, Pesh took the train. <laughs> um, but yeah, th this is where uh, uh, the run kind of takes a little bit of a twist. Um, I picked up uh, that's six items, so I'm at 17, which is right where I would like to be. Um, 16 to 18, anywhere in there is pretty good. Um, 
uh, that there's a massive earthquake and all of the like lovely plot lines that we're supposed to be experiencing in these different locations are going to be affected by quote unquote the cataclysm. Um, the so cataclysm. this route, we don't actually have to do the entire circuit. This is really where the game is supposed to open up casually and you, you kind of get to go wherever you want without the caravan, uh, holding you down but um for this run we uh just go find the caravan and then go home because otherwise it's slow um so this is gonna be a very quick circuit um i was hoping that elias would play a very specific card there and he didn't but that's okay we, we don't need that card anyway i'll pick this up now right there um, but yeah, uh, this, we're kind of continuing on, um, not quite to the, the blast stretch yet, um, but, uh, Happy Bear, uh, we have a bit of time now. If you, uh, have any questions, comments, concerns, or, uh, anything, honestly. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I always have something to say, Pippi. Um, oh. I, I do want to say that we are having another As God Is My Witness he is broken in half moment with the Skyward Sword HD bid war. Uh, oh. Slash is at 150 and save is at zero. I'm Ooh. sensing a little bit of a remnant hate, uh, but there may be some among you who like remlets, at least during the day, and don't want <laughs> to see them slashed and kicked and thrown off the edge of a floating island. So uh, reveal it, yourselves, remlet lovers, in the chat, please. As Any somebody remlet. who's forced ahead, to Pippi. save the remlet uh, in every single one of my runs against my will, um, it is kind of satisfying to chuck the remlet off a cliff. <laughs> but oh, I have to save the remlet, because SD, we have to save the remlet. All right, we've got some remlet hate from one of the runners. <laughs> Getting a bad example for chats. Pippi, I, don't know, I, I can't believe that. Example. that. It's my job. SMH. 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 Shaking my SMH. They're just little sky raccoons. You don't gotta hate them that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Actually, I think they're supposed to be lemurs. There's some. Yeah. <laughs> there are some sort of little critter. Um, but everybody, be sure to tune in for the Skyward Sword run. Skyward Sword is an excellent run. Um, and Skyward Sword HD, you actually get to see part of the run. Yeah, Instead you don't just, just see the title screen. Yeah, staring at the title screen. Um. <laughs> you can only go forwards in time in HD, sadly. Uh, real sad, because going back in time is really fun. Um, but th that's okay. We're also um, th we're also going to be, be seeing some Twilight Princess. Uh, Twilight Princess has back in time, so uh, you still get your yeah. back in time fix. Get a little bit um, of it. Yeah, just a little smidge. Uh, it's a little less visually absurd than Skyward Sword, but it's it's still fun. Um, so I have now found the caravan. I found them. They got stuck in uh, Clifton. And I'm just going to talk to Nadine and uh, confirm that, yes, I did find the caravan. Um, and she actually gave me a very nice card that I'm hoping she'll, she'll allow me to pick up. Because uh, as you may have gathered... Having these double cards around is so nice because they it's mean, extremely useful. Yeah, they mean your deck is just gonna be more consistent, um, and, and like you can keep kind of shuffling out the same couple of cards that are gonna be specific to each area, but sort of keep the core components of your deck the same, which is gonna be helpful in just kind of uh, like consistently getting through the game and getting through conversations. Yep. Um, uh, especially multi-zone cards, like what we get from Ramir, where we get triangle and square. Yep. Uh, those are very useful because it means that we don't have a dead card at any point in our deck. Um, that was an interesting chain. I used a card called Listen, which allows the other player to play two cards in a row. And uh, Alexis saw my Listen and raised me two chatters. Ah. So it's just only their <laughs> turn for the entire chain. Alexis said, oh, you want to listen to me, do you? 
That's your well, mistake. Well, I can talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fault, and I'm going to abuse it. Yup, basically. Um, but we're going to pick up three more items here, which, if my math is correct, should put me at 23 items total. And, uh, or, or I mean 20 items total. Mm. Excuse me. I, I was about to say 23. 23 at the end of four. Yeah. Oh, uh, you were blowing me out of the water. <laughs> 20 items out of 23. Now, if this were uh, a world record attempt, what I would do would be bank the entire run on getting to talk to Thunder in Anka. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get 23 um outside of that and just use uh thunder as a little safety conversation if we can because there is slight rng that says um we, we might not get thunder at all which is uh called the game being mean by the way <laughs> let me have doggos um but uh we're not gonna bank our entire run on the the likelihood that we will get thunder as an option um that that seems risky for a marathon run. So instead, I'll be getting some some safety stuff. Uh, ooh, Nadine just gave me the slowest card ability in the game called Prepare. Oh, we um, love Prepare. Well, I which... love when you get Prepare. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, prepare is a very useful card casually. It allows you to pick what card you're going to draw next. Um... Uh, and that's great and can let you uh, get through some conversations that you would not otherwise be able to get through in casual play. Um, but it, it causes a whole extra window to pop up in uh, the speed run, which we do not need. We just, just the don't. slowest possible thing. Yeah. Um, you will also notice that I have a new symbol in my deck. I do not know if Pippi picked it up, uh, but with the introduction of the Cataclysm, we are given a f uh, fifth symbol. It is this little pink symbol. It's neat. It's called Distressed and Grieving. That's yep. what I'm going to have thrown at you in a uh, in a casual playthrough. Uh, um, when Abdul Elias ends a conversation with Distressed and Grieving. Yup. Uh, if anybody is is a fan of deck builders or visual novels or just games with good story and art, I highly encourage you to play this game casually. It's made by a tiny indie dev team, um, and like it's made with a lot of love. Um, and it's oh, do not do that, Pippi. It's a very emotional experience it's uh, to really play through good, casually. Yes. Um, which we kind of jaunt our way through in the speed run um, and kind of treat things lackadaisically. Um, <laughs> the, the, the game opens with your mom died. Um, it's it's, a <laughs> it's gut it's punch something. after gut punch. Um, so I just skipped a conversation with Tomas because he would have given me an item, but he's also a very slow conversation. Uh, at the end, it's kind of giving us our sort of epilogues for each story that we opened up. Um, and Tomas has moved away from the art cult of, the, of uh, what's it called, Pachenko. Pachenko. And um, is now living happily in Clifton that is rebuilding after the great earthquake. Um, these story plot lines definitely make sense. Uh, in context. In context, they do. Um, uh, but he is very excited about his new location and would like to tell us all about it. Um, I then t uh, talked to Nadine instead of talking to Ma Matilde because Matilde is at, oh, I accidentally clicked on why Matilde is sad. Matilde is actually very sad um, and will not give us an item because she is too sad. And if we talk to her, she's just gonna start crying. <laughs> It is, uh, yeah, fun. Um, this game is really beautiful, though. Like, yes. uh, after the Great Cataclysm, like, it really feels kind of hopeless for a while if you continue out and, you know, play the game how you're supposed to uh, and, like, talk to people. Um, it's like everybody's lives are destroyed. You know, everything's in pieces. And then you go through uh, Route 5, and everybody's just picking up the pieces. Yep. Like, it's no big deal. Uh, they're just putting their lives back together. Uh, and it is beautiful and wonderful. Yep. Um, so I got my 23rd item from Alexis. I am now good on items. I do not need any more. But if we get Doggo, I will talk to Doggo. 
Uh, unfortunately, I am not great on items. I am at uh, I'm at 19 on final circuit, so I do need to get four more. It's not yep. the end of the world, but it's not ideal. Probably gonna have to take that Tomas conversation. Uh, yeah. It's probably the best route. Um, but I'm just skipping through these locations. Um, Aldhurst is having adventures with xenophobia. That's what's happening in Aldhurst. Neat. Um, Neat. Nobody gives you items. Uh, Haruto is sad because his robot is gone. Neat. Neat. He also <laughs> is too sad to give you items. I'm going to snuggle a dog. Everyone's real sad in this game. <laughs> um, old Marae is in shambles and they're having a revolution to overthrow the system and Gull is, is experiencing a, a midlife crisis about her career. Neat the rich. Yeah. <laughs> Say it with me now. Uh, Tessende Canales is having a workers' uprising. <laughs> this game has themes, is what we're trying to yeah. say. <laughs> uh, play this game, it has themes and things. Uh, she seems optimistic. Good job for you, Maya. Um, and we'll, we'll see what we get in Anka. Will I get Doggo? Will you get Doggo? I would Dago? like Doggo. Anka is just kind of uh, rebuilding. Um, we got Doggo! Let's, Let's go. go! Let's talk to Doggo! We love a Doggo! I love it. Look at him go. Arf, arf, arf. Bork, bork, bork. What My favorite uh, Thunder conversations are when your uh, entire deck is basically uh, fatigue cards. So you say, I'm tired. And he says, I love you. You say, well, I'm tired. He says, I love you. And so, well, I'm tired. But I love you, though. <laughs> And then he just hugs you and it's okay. And you get less I also tired. Love, uh, yes, he has a lot of utility because he also takes fatigue cards out of your deck. Um, but I also love if you can just play accommodates on top of him. Flavorfully, what <laughs> is happening is Thunder goes bork, 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 and you go bork, 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 bork and bork. he goes bork, 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 and you go bork, bork, bork. Um, so I'm now in the final conversation with Nadine and uh, provided that I got more than uh, 23 items, um, my ending is already set. Um, and I don't actually have to succeed in this conversation, so I can just, uh, fail out as fast as possible, and I got the, the text there that said the caravan stays, which means I've succeeded in that qualification of the ending, and I've also stayed with the caravan the entire time, so that means I've succeeded in all the requirements. I now have to take this conversation with Elias, which I'm gonna fail as fast as possible, because I don't care, um, but... Uh, I once again have to take this conversation with Elias because Elias thinks that we're besties and if I don't take it, he's going to um, force it upon me. Um, SMH Elias, the route doc says succeed that conversation. It does. Actually, actually lancing down new runners. Can't no, believe this. Sorry, it's old. <laughs> uh, I need to update the route doc <laughs> in a bit. Pithy in a top hat, toxic first place holder. <laughs> Sorry. You heard it here first, folks. We used to stay friends with Elias during this route. Um, it's since been discovered that it's faster to not. So that we just had a time skip. It's now years later, and Elias has come back to visit, and our store is thriving, and Bartow, our little hometown, has been saved. Huzzah! Um, and that means that this is also the final conversation of the game for me. So as long as I can get through this conversation, which is almost impossible for me to fail, which is why I'm succeeding, um, then I am I'm going to hit the little green arrow at the end, and that will be time for me. So I will let you know when that's going to happen. Um, get a bittersweet okay. ending, because Elias and I are not really friends anymore. Oopsies. I'm still in Bukumboro, so, you know, we got a, a minute or two. All right. Uh, uh, all things told, for a category this, like, and um... Time. Yay! For for a category that is this uh, on the whole unsafe, uh, being this close is not terrible. <laughs> yeah. Like I yeah, say that excellent. hoping that uh, nothing horrible goes wrong. We should we should be fine. Um, and uh, while Pride's finishing up, you get to see the cute credits that has a bunch of doggos in it. Again, we love a doggo. We do love a doggo. Um. But where are you at, Pride? Tell me tell me your process. Uh, so currently, um, I am trying to fail with Alexis, and it's not going great. Uh, <laughs> Alexis is 
just being the friendliest possible person. So we're just going to succeed this conversation, I guess. Uh, Once great again, times. Alexis is very forgiving. And uh, during the Cataclysm, you have to succeed with Alexis to get goods. But after this Cataclysm, Alexis has also moved homes and is so excited about moving that you can just be like, I don't want your product. And they go, yeah, you do. Here you go. <laughs> To be fair, if you succeed, Alexis gives you uh, salted nuts, which is great. If you fail, uh, Alexis gives you roasted crickets, which less great, but appreciated. Uh, this so now does not draw a difference between any items, by the way. They're all interchangeable. So um, just as great. Crickets, delicious. Delicious. Wonderful. We love them. Uh, I should have four items now. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yes. Uh, so I am good to just roll on through uh i can just take all of my checks uh getting through every single checks i've been playing far too much randomizer recently <laughs> uh i can roll through all of these towns uh safely ignoring all of uh the people that pippi already ignored yep uh do, 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 do. uh Honestly, like like Pippi was saying earlier, this game is fantastic. Uh, she 100% roped me into playing this and speedrunning it. Uh, <laughs> Pippi was on uh, GDQ's Hotfix uh, a while ago, uh, and as practice for teaching people how to run this game, uh, taught me how to run this game. So uh, thank you for keeping me as your guinea pig uh, and <laughs> beating me mercilessly in races. <laughs> I'll uh, get there one day. I'll, I'll get you one day. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're running care of near percent, which makes me very happy because uh, this was my first. We're gonna be a little bit mushy for a second. This was my first speed uh, speed game to uh, like actually uh, run. I did was too shy and scared to interact with an existing community um and i thought i was too bad at video games so i decided to pick up this video game that had no runners and no route and route the entire thing myself and um do all of the the like trick hunting and uh, planning myself and uh it it has been a wild ride and is like i now do speed run other games and sometimes i'm brave and talk to communities and stuff they're very scary um and so this game is a a very like sort of nostalgic experience for me and it makes me so happy to see other people enjoy it as a run and i hope uh all of y'all have enjoyed watching us race it and um that anybody who thinks this game looks interesting it's on steam it's on uh like 20 bucks yeah it's 20 dollars regularly it goes on sale often it goes into a lot of sale bundles um but i highly recommend buying it and the soundtrack because they're both wonderful the music and art are great. um and uh, it is definitely a worthwhile casual experience. And if you are looking to speed run it, I promise I'll update the route doc. And if you have any questions at all, any concerns, uh, any thoughts, um, my door is always open. Yep, our little micro community will welcome you with open arms. Uh, really excited open arms. I would also like to say um, on behalf of me and your entire community, uh, thank you for uh, deciding to run this dumb little game uh, <laughs> because I, like you have changed all of our lives incredibly. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, and also um, stop uh, mercilessly beating me in this game, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, gonna, cool gonna it, pet a dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna hide now, I'm gonna hide now. <laughs> Pride was nice to me, variety. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna uh, tell the organizer on, on you. On this, that is time for me. GG, right. both of you, great job. I don't think either of us had timers running, so uh, can we know our final times? Yeah. Hey, if anybody has access to that information for us. Yeah, good question. Let me see if I can pull that up for you real quick. Um. In the meantime, also, thank you so much, Rejects, for, Whoa. for having us. Uh, so it looks like our final times were, for Pippi, a 50 minutes and 31 seconds, which is within a minute and a half of world record. Uh, and for me, it was 55.24, which is better than my average, honestly. 
Uh, uh, yeah, 55 is a very respectable time. The world record is a 49.14, if I recall correctly. I believe that is correct. Um, so yeah, uh, not a sub 50, but um, a 50 is not uh, Just not a incredible time. for uh, a marathon. Yeah, not a time I am going to complain about. Those are both so, like, when I submit this for estimates uh, for this run, my general estimate is is a 56 is like an average run which we both beat so uh shout outs to that um but yes thank you rejects and friends so much for having us both um yeah this- thank you guys so much um go follow pippi in a top hat at twitch.tv slash pippi in a top hat slash subscribe uh she yeah. runs skyward sword and plays keep talking and nobody explodes and is incredible and lovely and everybody loves her uh, you should not listen to anything that Pride just said because that sounds like a bad idea. And instead, you should go follow The King's Pride on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash The King's Pride slash uh, please get affiliates so that you, you can have subscribers. So that I I'm need working to on it. Out. I need like uh, nine more people. We're working on it. <laughs> go follow Pride so that uh, I can I can throw money at him. <laughs> uh, but I... Uh, Go go follow Pride. Uh, he also runs Age of Calamity, the forgotten Zelda game, um, which is uh, a really a really cool game, and um, he is in second place for, uh, which is super cool. Um, and the the run is beautiful and satisfying. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for having us both. This marathon means a lot to us. Everybody, uh, keep donating for a good cause, and uh, we'll we'll be. <laughs> <laughs>